Today we're going to talk about negative exponents. You already know that a positive integer exponent indicates repeated multiplication. For example, 2 raised to the third indicates a product where 2 is used as a factor three times. So we have 2 times 2 times 2 is equivalent to 2 raised to the third. How do we handle 2 raised to the negative 3? Well, before we answer this question, let's review a few prior examples and then come back to 2 raised to the negative third. Suppose we use a division rule to simplify x raised to the second divided by x raised to the fourth. Well, remember, the division property says if we have two exponential expressions with the same base, keep the base and subtract the exponents. So here our base is x, so we keep our base, and we subtract the exponents from top to bottom. So we have the 2 minus 4, leaving us with x raised to the negative 2. So x squared divided by x raised to the fourth equals x raised to the negative 2. We can try a different approach to the same problem by expanding the numerator and the denominator. So we take x squared and we rewrite that as x times x and x to the fourth we rewrite as x times x times x times x and then we cancel common factors. So we cancel an x, another set of x's, and we're left with 1 over x squared. Uh, where did the 1 over x squared come from? Well, at the top, the numerator here, we're going to be left with 1. And the denominator, we have x times x, which is x squared. So you can see that from our approach 1, x squared divided by x to the fourth equals 1 over x squared. And our second approach gave us x squared divided by x to the fourth equals x to the negative 2. So you can see that these two answers are equivalent. So x squared divided by x to the fourth equals x to the negative two, but it also equals one over x squared. So it looks like this x to the negative two can be rewritten as one over x squared. We'll come back to this in a moment. So how do we handle two raised to the negative three? Well, let's take a look at a definition here. If a base has a negative exponent, the expression is the same as the reciprocal of that base raised to the positive power. So back to our 2 to the negative 3 problem, the base is 2, so the reciprocal of just 2 is 1 over 2, and then we take the positive power. So negative 3, we take the positive exponent, uh, or the positive power, which is positive 3, so 2 to the negative 3 becomes 1 over 2 to the third, which equals 1 over 8. So back to our previous problem, we were left with x to the negative 2. So the reciprocal of x is 1 over x, and then we take the positive power. So negative 2 becomes positive 2, and you can see x to the negative 2 equals 1 over x squared. Let's try another problem. What if we have a negative uh, exponent in the denominator? Well, again, our base is 2. The reciprocal of 1 over 2 is 2 over 1. And the power becomes positive. So the negative 3 becomes positive 3. And we're left with 2 times 2 times 2, which equals positive 8. If I had 1 over y to the fifth, well, the reciprocal of 1 over y is simply y over 1. And the power becomes positive. So we're left with y to the five. Let's try one more. So we have x raised to the negative 2 over x raised to the negative 6. So we could take the reciprocal of the x's, right? So uh, if I had x to the negative 2, well, the reciprocal of x to the negative 2 would be 1 over x uh, to the negative 2, and then we make the power positive. And 1 over x to the negative 6, well, the reciprocal would be x over 1 to the negative 6, and then we take the positive power. Now you could use the division rule, or you can actually rewrite the numerator as x times x times x times x times x, the denominator as x times x, cancel out some x's where you can, and you can see you're left with x to the fourth. Um, here I use the division rule. So we took the reciprocal, and then we did 6 minus 2, or uh, the subtraction from top to bottom of the exponents, and we were left with x to the fourth. And this is what we did previously. So you can see, whatever our approach is, we should come up with the same result, uh, x raised to the fourth. 
So that completes our lesson on negative exponents. Uh, in the next video, I plan to work out a few problems on the Blackboard for more practice. Thank you for watching.